Oh my god. What the heck? And then this tail whip. I saw the picture. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say hey and welcome to another episode of BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. That being said, I just wrapped up watching what could go down as the greatest BMX video ever made. You've already seen it. I don't even have to introduce it to you. It came out this week and you know what I'm talking about. It is the Dennis Anderson right here video from Vans. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's posting about it. You already know about it. And if you haven't seen it yet, what are you doing? You need to watch it. Just pause this video, click the link in the description. It's the first thing, watch it and then come back. And there's a lot of things that can be said about this video. Gnarliest tricks and riding in a BMX video of all time? Yes, hands down. In regards to where BMX was at the time? Probably, hands down. Dennis Anderson, most well-rounded BMX rider ever? Probably. There is something to be said about vert, but obviously this is more of a street video than a skate park or dirt or anything like that. So we can't really talk about that in this video, but Dennis Anderson as a person, probably the most well-rounded BMX rider ever. Is this the greatest BMX video of all time? I don't think so, and I'm gonna tell you why. This video has pretty much everything. Camera work, editing, all of it goes together so well, but there's one thing that this video is lacking, and that is personality. And that's not to say I'm complaining about this whatsoever. This could be exactly what Dennis wanted. He maybe didn't want any personality in it. I'm not knocking it whatsoever. I'm just saying why I don't quite think this is the greatest BMX video of all time. And what I mean by a lack of personality is just the fact that there's not those little touches. When you think back to Van Homan's Criminal Mischief part, there was little touches of personality throughout that video that kind of helped it become the legendary video that it is. Okay, I just wanna add something in here real quick after watching Van Homan's Criminal Mischief part and realizing that there's not really that many B-roll clips and clips of Van that add personality to this. What I think I feel like I was missing here is just the music and the lyrics and how they come together with the writing to give you a feeling of personality, the lyrics of Diary of a Madman going with the riding, it feels like it just gives you this feeling. And I think that feeling is kind of what I was missing while I was watching that. When you watch Van Homan's Criminal Mischief part, there's something magical about it that just makes you feel. And then there's the buildup in the song as well that adds to that feeling where you're watching it and you just feel the video while you're watching it. And I think that that aspect is something I was missing in this because it starts out totally insane right out of the gate and we don't really get that build up and we don't really get the same feeling because there's no words to connect with anything in the video. And once again, I'm not trying to complain or anything here. I just am explaining why I feel personally the way I do about this. So let's continue with the news. And, and also there's the aspect of cleared and copyright free music that they might have had to go through in this as well. And I'm not sitting here trying to knock this video whatsoever. I will keep repeating that because all of the good things about this video have probably already been said. Everything that Dennis Anderson did in this video was incredible. Every single clip in here just about could have been an ender for anyone else's video ever. This is a video of enders put together into one video. Also, all of the clips of everyone else in here, I saw Pat Casey, Jason Watts, I'm pretty sure there was a couple more in there as well. Those guys' clips were all on par with his as well. And it was just an absolutely amazing video so i don't want anyone to think that i'm saying all oh, this video is not all it's hyped up to be because it 1000 percent is i'm just saying and lining up with my clickbait in the title and description and thumbnail and whatever that i don't know that this one is going to go down in history as the best bmx video of all time time will tell 
but I think that Van Homan's Criminal Mischief part, which is highly regarded as the best, most legendary video part of all time, will still hold the crown at this point. So with that, there are also some questions and answers and thoughts from Dennis on this video project over on Vital BMX that I also have linked at the top of the description below. And I just wanna say that I really don't feel like Dennis set out to make the best BMX video of all time or to top Van Homan's Criminal Mischief section or any of the other legendary BMX sections. From the feel of this interview, I feel like he just wanted to make something that he could be proud of, exactly like he said. He said if the internet disappeared tomorrow and he could just keep one thing from BMX, this would be it and he would be proud of it. And I think that it's really cool that it turned into this and that so many people are hyped about it and it could be the greatest BMX video of all time and it definitely could go down in history as that. It's really exciting that we still have things like that coming out in this day of age of Instagram and instant gratification and kind of just putting stuff up on the internet before you get to a point where you have something like this. And the fact that Dennis just blew everyone's minds in BMX collectively is just awesome in itself. So if you somehow have not yet watched this video and you made it through all of this without watching it, go watch the video. It's worth it. It's worth every single second of that six minutes and 38 seconds that it plays for. There's no BS, there's no crap. There could be a little more personality, I'll say it again. <laughs> but it is just straight up hammers from Dennis Anderson that are worth the watch. So get on over there and check it out. And with that, I'm not going to talk in depth about any videos today because none of them can hold a candle to this Dennis Anderson video. And I don't want to take away from that. So we've got a long list of videos to talk about and I'll briefly mention some things, but I'm not going to talk in depth. The first of those is Mike Hoder's new compilation video from s and called Maybe Next Year. I think it has something to do with the fact that he didn't get nominated for a Nora Cup this year, which arguably maybe he should have been. You can talk about that in the comments down below, as well as let me know your thoughts on this Dennis Anderson right here video. I love the concept for the title of this video. I totally forgot to say that. I know I'm hijacking this Mike Hoder part, but I love the concept that he put in this interview that whenever you're out riding and you're trying something, you say, all right, right here. And I love the fact that this video is called Right Here. But back to Mike Hoder. Mike did some absolutely incredible stuff this year in a whole bunch of different videos. So to have this quick compilation video from s and that's literally only two and a half minutes long of all of that insanity is definitely something you might want to check out. Then we have Mike Stahl's, what I'm assuming is his Madeira ABD video part that they have relabeled and uploaded to our BMX. Can't be positive on that because I didn't buy the DVD and watch it, but I think that's what this is. Either way though, that is a totally different discussion for the fact that they relabeled it, changed the name, and then uploaded it. I don't have anything to do with that. I don't really know how I feel about it, but if you have thoughts on it, leave them in the comments. Either way, Mike Stahl is an absolute shredder and there are more handrails in this video with gnarly things going down on them than you can stick a, sh stick a shit at. Shake a stick at. Then after that, we go in a more technical direction with things with a Trey Turner video. It's called his 2030 video. I guess he just decided to skip 10 years into the future, especially with this year that we're having in 2020 right now. And if you've heard Trey Turner's name, you know his style of riding. Very, very technical and putting hang nothings in places where hang nothings have never been before. Really good stuff here. And if you like that style of riding, that's a good one for you to check out. Then we've got a video from Kink called Upstate of Mind. This one's got Nathan Williams, Hobie Doan, and Jake Petrichick in it, riding in Rochester, Ithaca, and Buffalo, and it's only just over four minutes long. You know those names, you know you're gonna wanna check it out. And there's a lot of street videos that we have to talk about. So many different street videos came out this week. But after that, we do have a Flatland video for you Flatland guys out there. It's called Lost and Found, and it's a video from Hara with Bo Wade. And then we have two videos from Golden Days Bike Shop. That's Nate Richter's bike shop out in California. The first one is called A New Normal, and it's got a ton of really good dudes in it. We've got Jeff Westcott, LaShawn Cobza, Ryan Mills, Steven August, Tom Tom Villarreal, Charles Littlejohn, Dylan Lloyd, Boss Hog, Monk, Immoris Petty, 
and more in here and it's literally 11 minutes 30 seconds long so if you want a longer video for this week that's one for you to check out then the second video from golden days bike shop is a one year anniversary jam for their one year anniversary being in business that they threw where there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes down in here and you might have seen that video clip from dgaf dan norville in there where he did a crazy alley-oop to wall ride drop I can't even explain it. You're just gonna have to watch the video to check it out. And then after that, we have another video in the Powers Bike Shop Game of Bike Championship series that they've been doing. This one is with Shane Leeper and Trevor Shawbaugh. And then there's something that I completely glanced over talking about here that we need to talk about. It's the finals results from the E-Feast contest. BMX Pro Street Men has Courage Adams in third, Garrett Reynolds in second, and Kevin Peraza in third. This is a very interesting result. And if you watched my reaction video, right after Garrett's video finished, I said, Garrett didn't win, I was right. And then we have the BMX Pro Women category where we have Gina Petrella in third, Angie Marino in second, and Anahi Valentina in first, followed by Men's Freestyle Park. We've got Kenneth Tencio in third, Andreev Kostya in second, and Logan Martin in first. Logan Martin winning that one was a surprise to me, but Andre Kostya being in second was not a surprise whatsoever. I definitely thought he should have either won or got second. Then we've got Women's Pro Park with Nikita Dakaros in third, Hannah Roberts in second, and Liz Surly, Valega Serna in first. Her video was really, really good, and it was awesome to see her win. And then the other two in the top three definitely made sense to be there. Then we've got Flatland, which I completely forgot to play whenever we reacted to it. I'm sorry, but in third, we've got Alex Juman, then second, Yu Katagiri, and John William Prevost in first. Followed by the Flatland Pro Women, we've got Julia Prius, Irana, I don't know your last name, I'm sorry, and Aaron Frick. So those are the results for the E-Feast contest. Let me know what you think about them and if you agree with them in the comment section down below. And I put all of the scores of everything on the screen so you can pause and check it out to leave your thoughts even further. And then we've got some product related things to talk about, a few different frame things to talk about this week. The first is that Mike Rooftop Escamilla's United Caveman frame is seeing a V2 version. It might already be sold out, I'm not sure. The pre-orders open September 23rd, but I think the main difference between the V1 and the V2 of this, aside from maybe some appearance differences in the colors for sure and the graphics, are a wider rear triangle to allow room for the wider tires that we've seen become so popular in BMX these days. Then after that, we've got a promo for Colony's Chris James blaster frame. And then we've got one from Dan Cruck that kind of brings us into the interview section where it's a tech talk talking about his We The People signature network frame. And then we've got some interviews to talk about, a Michael Laren interview from X Games, if you've heard of Michael Laren or his reputation has preceded him, you know that he's highly regarded as one of the nicest people in all of BMX. And then we've got a Kevin Peraza interview with Vital BMX, kind of talking about the E-Feast thing and all of his thoughts around that and the fact that he won and all of these things. And it was a really, really good interview. It's only like 15 minutes long, which feels like a really, really good sweet spot for an interview because I felt like I was into it throughout the entire thing and could pay attention through all of it without becoming mindless and doing other things and not fully paying attention. He talked about a lot of things, how he feels like it's a really, really awesome thing that anyone could get involved with this no matter where they're at they could do it from home if they wanted to but if you want to hear more you can hear it straight from kevin himself at the link in the description down below and with that being said i want to thank you guys for being here and watching this week leave your thoughts on dennis anderson's right here video in the comments or anything else that i talked about and if you're not yet and you're new here hit the subscribe button down below so that hopefully we can see you tomorrow for another video thank you for watching and goodbye